Hello advanced filmmakers, this is Mr. Granlund here and I'm going to go through how to do the short film analysis. First off, the short film analysis is going to be an assignment that you do every week. Now don't be surprised if this order changes throughout the trimester. There are some films that I like better than others at different points in the trimester and since I don't have everything 100% nailed down for the next 10 or so weeks, I I'm going to be flexible with which ones I show you first. I am reasonably confident that at least these three, first three or four films are going to be what you do in the first four to five weeks here. Let's take a look at film analysis number one. You're going to do all film analyses roughly the same way. You're going to watch the video and then you're going to comment on a specific aspect of that video. Now each time you look at a different aspect of the video, I would ask that you watch the video again because you're going to notice new things every time you watch the video. So the first time you watch the video, you're going to write about the plot. A plot is just a basic description of what happens in the film. At the beginning, this happened and then the character did this, and then the character did that. When you're describing the plot, you do not want to think about what the character's motivations or feelings are. That gets into story. The second thing you're going to comment on is a story. A story is based on motivations and feelings. You're going to try to decipher the film's reasons why things are happening the way they are in the film. Next time through, you're going to look at the motifs. A motif is a visual metaphor or symbol. You're going to put your detective hat on and try to decipher what these metaphors and symbols represent in the film. A motif is often some sort of color or object in the film that represents a thought or an idea. You might recognize that certain colors are used over and over again every time the character is sad. You might notice that Every time the character thinks about their sister, maybe a book is in the room. It's not about getting it right. It's about thinking about what things could mean in the film. Lastly, I want you to pay attention really close and think about what audio you're hearing. And on this final time through the video, you're going to think about what sounds or music you're hearing and what do they signify or make you feel. Are the sounds happening in the scene or out of the scene? So think about the things that you're seeing happening and the things that you're hearing, and maybe something's happening off screen. Why are you hearing it off screen? Is the director trying to create a sense of um, fear or dread that something's gonna happen that you can't see? So the fear of the unknown. Those might be things that you talk about in the audio session. For each of these things, you're gonna write three full sentences. After you do that, then you're going to be able to see other students' responses, and I want you to expand on one other student's observations and think about how it can be applied to your own filmmaking. You're going to do these about once a week, and I wish you the best of luck. If you have questions, feel free to email me or ask them in the help section at, um, on the main page of the Schoology site. All right, filmmakers, I hope you enjoy these films. I like them too. Uh, this first one, Sister, was actually done by a high school student that went to um, another high school here in Minnesota called Perpich Center for the Arts. All right, good luck, filmmakers. Till next time.